If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everyone, welcome back to the $1 Budget, the show where we take this and spend it on cool filmmaking stuff suggested by you. Uh, first off, we've got a suggestion from R. Trowbridge. Be sure to click on the annotation and check out his YouTube channel. Uh, these are Sunbeam Alkaline Batteries bought at Dollar Tree. Now, because they're alkalines and not the lesser, super heavy-duty brand, they actually last a decent amount of time, much like any other alkaline. They are kind of an off-brand, so they probably won't last as long as a Duracell or Energizer. Uh, but they're a good buy for $1. I've actually used these AA's in a Marantz digital audio recorder, and they lasted a couple hours which is just about as long as a name brand battery would last. So this is a good suggestion. Check out R. Trowbridge's YouTube channel and uh, I'd like to thank him for that. Okay, next up we've got these uh, kids' socks. So I got three pairs for a dollar. These were suggested by Mr. Poe, also known as Wayne Poe on the Facebook group. And he suggests that you take these kids or baby socks and wrap them around this very popular Harbor Freight uh, LED light which a lot of people have been using to attach to rigs or for lights or anything else. It's pretty powerful LED, but as you can see, it's also a pretty harsh um, light there. So what Wayne suggests is that you take these socks and you wrap the light, or wrap the sock around the light, if I can do it here. Um, and that acts as a diffuser which takes your harsh light down a notch so that it's no longer um, as harsh. It just acts as a diffuser, kind of a frost type effect. Um, and there you go, you just spend a dollar to take your harsh light and turn it into a soft light that you can attach to any kind of rig or any, any other way you can get these. These, these aren't a dollar uh, from Harbor Freight. They're between two and three dollars depending on uh, if they're on sale or not, but they're a good deal. And we'd like to thank Mr. Poe for the Harbor Freight uh, LED light diffuse, diffuser, namely a kid's sock. Okay, our next suggestion comes from two viewers actually. Jojo Tomaz and Film Taped suggests that I pick up a reflector at Dollar Tree, like a car reflector. Well, I went to Dollar Tree and I could not find a car reflector, the kind that fits into your windshield to keep the sun off of your car or off the inside of your car, but I did find this piece of foam core, which would make an excellent bounce card for a dollar. Uh, this is kind of a classic uh, tip. We probably all use foam core or some kind of white card at one uh, time or another. The nice thing about this is, is that it's stiff. It is foam core. It's not the flimsy kind of poster board sometimes we run across. Actually, you can get that. You can get those for two for a dollar at Dollar Tree, but the foam core, you must pay a full dollar. Uh, but this is a great idea. Like I said, bounce card, reflector, does a good job. It's white. You can use it for white balance and other things. And it's uh, so cheap that if you didn't need to take it with you or you were in a bind or you were traveling or whatever, you could just uh, throw it away when you were done. And finally, we have this. This is a squirt gun from Dollar Tree. Uh, costs a dollar. And one thing I liked about this was I actually was doing a short film and I needed some kind of an inoculation gun. Uh, not like a firearm, but something that you could you know, inoculate somebody or shoot them with a drug. And I like this squirt gun because, as you notice, the front collapses when you push it up against something. So it was perfect, and I ended up taking uh, this 97 cent can of black spray paint spray uh, that I got at Walmart. Uh, I spray painted this black, and unfortunately, uh, I lost the prop that I had made for the short, but I do have a clip, and here it is. Cut her off. Hurry before she passes out. So there you go, that's how I took this uh, plastic squirt gun here with the collapsing front that I liked and made an inoculation gun all for one dollar. Actually, I guess the squirt gun was one one dollar, the paint was one dollar, so I guess I'm kind of cheating there. But they both, they both cost a dollar and there's paint left over for other projects. Just remember to take your time spray painting, do light coats. I think I painted mine over the space of three days. It actually worked out pretty good. The paint didn't chip very much. So there you go. That's our episode this week for the $1 budget. Now, uh, as you notice, most of these ideas were generated by you, the viewer. So please, if you have an idea of spending $1 on a piece of filmmaking gear, something you came up with, please let me know, comment below, and I will feature you in a future episode. And if you have a YouTube channel, I will feature that as well. We'll see you next time.